Good morning. Welcome to another Journey Midweek Connection. Uh, I'm Carl, the youth pastor, and we've been talking in youth this fall. Uh, we've been studying Jesus' parables, the stories that he told uh, to his followers, to the disciples, to the people who are listening to him to illustrate a point that he was trying to make in his teaching. And recently, we were in Luke chapter 12. We spent a lot of time in Luke. Luke recorded a lot of these because of his attention to detail. But in Luke chapter 12, and we'll dive into verse 13 in just a minute. Um, when I was a teenager, I did a lot of different um, types of, of jobs. I grew up on a farm and worked with a lot of different contractors and things like that. I helped a, a couple of guys do some roofing one summer. And I remember being on a roof and pounding nails in with a hammer. We weren't using a nail gun for whatever reason, um, probably because it was too dangerous if it was a teenage guy. Uh, but I was using a hammer and somebody called my name as I was swinging and I nailed my thumb. And that fingernail turned black and, and purple and eventually part of it fell off. And it was a horrible experience. Um, there's my sob story for today about my terrible experience. Um, but the reason that happened, the reason that I slammed my nail with the hammer is because my focus was distracted. And all it took was a split second. A few weeks ago, Pastor Matt shared with us from 2 Timothy about how Paul used the example of being a soldier who doesn't get tangled up um, in affairs of civilian life, but does what it takes to please the one who's his commanding officer. And that takes a great level of focus. Our job, part of what we're supposed to be doing, our calling as believers and followers of Jesus, is to focus on what he's called us to do and not on the things around us. Let's read our verses here. Um, this morning. Luke 12, verse 13. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. So uh, Jesus has just got done talking about how important it is to acknowledge Jesus and a very spiritual type discussion. And this guy comes up and says, Hey, my brother's not giving me my money or my, my possessions. Please make him do it. Almost like, like a kid complaining to dad. And Jesus replied, Man, who appointed me a judge or arbiter between you? Then he said to them, everyone there, watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. And he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant harvest. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And there I will store my surplus grain. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy. Eat, drink. And be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you've prepared for yourself? This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves, but it's not rich toward God. It's very clear from both the man that jumps in and asks Jesus to be the, the judge about the inheritance, and from the parable Jesus told that focus in this life is so important. Uh, the man in the parable was so consumed with greed, and then concerned about his retirement, um, and being able to take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry, um, that his focus was not on the good things that Jesus had called us to. Um, the idea here is not that it's bad to be prepared or that it's bad to have good things in life, uh, but what is your focus? Where are you looking? Where is your intentionality and effort put? Because all it takes is one split second while you're swinging that hammer for your focus to be drawn away and you'll squash your thumb or maybe something even more serious. And Jesus calls us to pursue loving others, to pursue loving God and, and getting to know him. Are you focused on that today? Is your focus a kingdom focus or is your focus a me focus? Have a great week, everyone.